Welcome to the revolutionary world of no-dig gardening. Imagine a lush, thriving garden that requires less work and yields more harvest. Sounds too good to be true, right? But that's exactly the magic of no-dig gardening. So, what exactly is no-dig gardening? It's a gardening method that rejects the traditional practice of tilling the soil. Instead, it focuses on layering organic materials right on top of the ground to create a fertile garden bed. This method not only saves you from the back-breaking labor of digging and tilling, but also helps preserve the soil structure and the beneficial microbes that call it home. Now, you might be wondering why tilling the soil, a practice as old as agriculture itself, could be anything but beneficial. Well, when we till the soil, we disturb its natural structure, kill beneficial organisms, and expose it to erosion and nutrient loss. No-dig gardening, on the other hand, enhances soil structure, promotes microbial activity, and protects the soil, making it a win-win for both you and the environment. As we delve deeper into no-dig gardening, we'll see that it's not just about saving labor, it's about creating a fertile, living soil that's packed with nutrients and beneficial organisms. It's about building a garden that's resilient, capable of withstanding pests, diseases, and even the harshest weather conditions. And most importantly, it's about respecting and nurturing the complex web of life that exists right beneath our feet. No-dig gardening is a game-changer. It's a method that allows us to work with nature, not against it. It invites us to rethink our relationship with the soil, the plants, and the myriad of creatures that make up the garden ecosystem. It's a method that promises healthier plants, abundant harvests, and a more sustainable way of gardening. By adopting the no-dig method, you're not just becoming a gardener, but a steward of the earth, nurturing the soil and the life it supports. Now, isn't that a beautiful thought? Now, let's dive into the simple steps to start your own no-dig garden. Starting a no-dig garden is simpler than you might think. As with any garden, location is key. You'll want to find a spot that gets plenty of sunshine, ideally at least six hours a day. If you're working with a smaller space like a balcony or patio, don't worry. No-dig methods can be adapted to containers too. Next, you'll need to gather your materials. This includes a mix of brown and green organic matter. Brown matter refers to things like dried leaves, straw, or newspaper, while green matter includes vegetable scraps, coffee grounds, or fresh grass clippings. You'll also need some compost to kickstart the process. Now let's move on to the fun part, setting up your garden. Start by laying down a thick layer of brown matter directly on the ground. This is your garden's foundation, which will smother any existing grass or weeds. Next, add a layer of green matter. This will introduce necessary nutrients into your garden. Follow this with a layer of compost. These layers will break down over time, creating a nutrient-rich environment for your plants. Repeat this layering process until your garden bed is about a foot high. Don't worry if it seems too high. The organic matter will compress over time. Once you've finished layering, it's time to plant. Simply make a small hole in the compost layer, pop in your seed or seedling, and cover it back up. There's no need to dig down into the layers below. Maintain your garden by adding more compost and organic matter as needed. This will continuously feed your soil and ensure a healthy, thriving garden. Remember, no-dig gardening is not a one-size-fits-all approach. Feel free to experiment and find what works best for you. You're not just building a garden. You're creating a living, breathing ecosystem that will reward you with a bountiful harvest. With these steps, you're well on your way to creating a thriving no-dig garden. Now isn't that simpler than you thought? But why does no-dig gardening work so well, you might ask? Well, let's delve into the fascinating science behind it. At the heart of no-dig gardening is the preservation of soil integrity. In traditional gardening methods, regular tilling disrupts the soil structure, breaking apart the intricate network of tunnels and air pockets that are vital for the survival of earthworms, bacteria, and other beneficial organisms. However, in no-dig gardens, soil is left undisturbed allowing these beneficial organisms to thrive unhindered, and thrive they do. Earthworms, the unsung heroes of the garden, burrow through the soil, aerating it and improving its structure. These tireless workers also consume organic matter, excreting nutrient-rich castings that enrich the soil. Similarly, 
Microorganisms, including bacteria and fungi, play a crucial role in breaking down organic matter into nutrients that plants can absorb. So how does this contribute to a healthier, more resilient garden ecosystem? Well, enriched soil leads to healthier plants. Healthier plants are more resistant to pests and diseases, reducing the need for chemical interventions. Moreover, the improved soil structure enhances water retention, reducing the need for frequent watering and making your garden more resilient to periods of drought. Now, for some expert tips. Composting is your best friend in a no-dig garden. It provides a steady supply of organic matter that fuels the activity of beneficial organisms and feeds your plants. Mulching is another key practice. A layer of mulch on the surface of your garden helps to retain moisture, suppress weeds, and gradually breaks down to add nutrients to the soil. As for plant selection, diversity is the key. A variety of plants encourages a diverse population of beneficial organisms, contributing to the overall health and balance of your garden ecosystem. By understanding the science, you can maximize your garden's productivity and health. So, armed with this knowledge, you're one step closer to cultivating your own abundant, effortless no-dig garden. No-dig gardening isn't limited to large garden plots. From urban jungles to sprawling countryside landscapes, this revolutionary method of gardening can be adapted and utilized in any setting. Its versatility is one of its most attractive features, making it a viable choice for gardeners of all scales and environments. Consider the urban balcony, a small space often seen as a challenge for traditional gardening. With no-dig gardening, these spaces can be transformed into thriving green sanctuaries. By layering organic matter in containers and pots, you can create a mini no-dig garden right on your balcony. These compact gardens not only provide fresh produce, but also add a refreshing touch of nature to your urban living space. Moving on to rooftops, often underutilized spaces in urban settings, these can be turned into productive no-dig gardens. A layer of organic matter over a protective sheet can create a fertile base for your plants. With proper planning and plant selection, Rooftop gardens can contribute significantly to urban biodiversity and provide a serene green escape in the heart of the city. And let's not forget the traditional backyard garden plot. No-dig gardening can revolutionize these spaces too. By replacing labor-intensive tilling with layering organic matter, you can create a more productive garden that requires less work and gives more harvest. This method also promotes a healthier soil ecosystem leading to more resilient plants and bountiful yields season after season. From small-scale indoor gardens to community garden projects, no-dig gardening showcases its adaptability. It opens up possibilities for anyone, anywhere to start their own garden, regardless of space constraints. This method proves that you don't need a massive plot of land to cultivate a thriving garden. All you need is a little creativity, some organic matter, and the willingness to try something new. In the face of increasing urbanization and the need for sustainable practices, no-dig gardening emerges as a champion. Not only does it offer an efficient gardening solution, but it also promotes eco-friendly practices by reducing soil disturbance and encouraging organic composting. No matter your setting, no-dig gardening offers a sustainable and efficient solution. It's more than just a gardening technique. It's a philosophy that nurtures the earth while providing us with a bountiful harvest. It's high time we embrace this method and witness the magic unfold in our gardens. But no-dig gardening is about more than just convenience. It's a radical shift in how we interact with the earth under our feet, a way of gardening that is in harmony with nature. It's an approach that respects the intricacy of ecosystems, recognizing that every creature, every organism has a role to play in the grand symphony of life. No-dig gardening is about sustainability. It's about conserving resources and reducing waste. Traditional tilling and digging can lead to soil erosion and loss of valuable nutrients. But with no dig, the soil structure is preserved. It's a method that encourages the natural processes of decomposition and nutrient recycling, mirroring the cycles found in nature. It's about fostering biodiversity. A no-dig garden is a haven for myriad life forms, from the earthworms aerating the soil to the beneficial bacteria breaking down organic matter, each contributes to a rich, vibrant ecosystem that boosts plant health and productivity. And it's about reducing our carbon footprint. 
Traditional gardening methods can be energy intensive, requiring the use of machinery or tools that consume fossil fuels. But no dig gardening, with its emphasis on manual labor and natural processes, offers a more environmentally friendly alternative. But perhaps most importantly, no dig gardening is about rethinking our relationship with the earth. It's about acknowledging that we are part of a larger ecosystem, not separate from it. It's about understanding that our actions have consequences and that by choosing to garden in a way that nurtures the soil and the life it supports, we can make a positive impact. In a world facing environmental challenges, no dig gardening offers a beacon of hope. It shows that it's possible to cultivate a lush, productive garden while also caring for the planet. It's a testament to the power of nature and a reminder of our responsibility to protect it. By embracing no dig gardening, you're not only enriching your garden, but also nurturing the planet. So let's roll up our sleeves, let's get our hands dirty, and let's garden in a way that respects and enhances the natural world. Let's make every garden a no-dig garden.